Hey guys, back at from a pad here. Today we're over by my sugar apple trees and today is a very exciting day guys. I got some good weather so I'm out here. I'm about to trim these trees and guys as you see these trees you can tell they are really out of control. Um, branches are going in all different directions. So I'm gonna kind of talk you through how I am gonna trim my trees. Sugar apples grow um, they flower and they bear fruit on new growth only. So you want to remove the old growth from the previous years. So I'm going to go through and show you the strategy I'm, I'm going to be using to open up my tree canopy and to remove all the old growth. And then um, we're going to just go through and trim them up. I'm also going to be taking cuttings. I'm going to be planting some cuttings and I may even get to some ear layers or I, I might keep the ear layers for a different video. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. So the tr the sugar apple tree on my left hand side that I'm looking at here, this I bought maybe close to three years ago. It started off in a pot. Yeah, about three years. It was in a pot for a year. Then it's been in the ground here for at least two years. Um, the first year it blossomed profusely and bore profusely, but the majority fell off. I think I only got three or four. Second year, I don't remember how many I got, maybe three or four. Last year, I only got two. It hardly blossomed at all. And I believe one of the reasons is because I did not remove the old growth. So one thing about sugar apple, it bears fruit on the new growth. So you want to remove the old growth every year and give it a chance. Plus, you want to trim off a lot of these like very small um, limbs. Um, sugar apples can take a very deep, very heavy trimming. You don't really have to be afraid of it. And guys, I'm I'm not an arborist. I'm not a professional um, tree cutter. I but I am a gardener, and I I'm just saying what works for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna trim this tree back, and you guys will see the progress in a couple weeks. I'll do another short video to show you the progress with growth. Of course, we're in the middle of January now, so. There may not be a whole lot of growth right now. However, this tree should be waking up soon. So as soon as it starts waking up, I'll show you how the growth is coming off new growth or off where I cut. Okay. All right. So first thing you, you want to look at as you look at this tree is that there are a whole lot of little spindly branches got coming in all different directions. You want to um, cut anything that they call like a, a, a you call it it's almost like a sucker that comes straight up. You want to cut all the branches that are coming straight up like this one. It's just sticking up in the air. You also want to cut any of these little tiny branches. You know, this cannot really sustain a fruit. It's so skinny. If a fruit came on this, this would just break. So I'm going to go through, cut up all these little small branches. Um, I'm going to trim this one first. And then I'm going to move to this second one. This second one started off. The one on the right on the right yeah it started off as just literally like a little twig maybe this size it maybe i don't even know if it had any maybe it had like one leaf on it but it did have roots so i didn't expect it to live so i just stuck it in the ground that's why it's so close to the other one i didn't expect it to live but guys you can see it has grown up it has a beautiful shape already i probably need to do very little trimming on this look at this guys you see the center leader branch going all the way up it's like coming straight up the trunk is coming all the way up and then it has like a perfect shape already what I may do is take one of this take this lower one off or what I think I'm gonna do is probably air layer the two lower ones so I'll have two trees so I'm gonna do that on a separate video but guys when you come over to this one you can see the drastic difference so I'm gonna set the camera up and I'm just gonna go through and start cutting of course, what you want to start with, you want to start with clean pruners. So I've already washed the cutting edge on both these of these with hydrogen peroxide. You can use whatever you normally use. Hydrogen peroxide works really well to clean the cutting utensils. So I'm going to go ahead um, and start cutting. Guys, this is way overdue. If you look at the lower branches here. It's just a tangle mess. Look at that. One, two, three, four. It's just like five, six. It's like so many. So these little skinny ones, I'm going to take off. And I'm going to cut all the way down to the very base. 
and remove these. I'm going to go back in with a smaller one and clean it up. Some of these I'm going to save. I'm going to try and root as many as possible. You know, they're not all going to take, but some of them will, will come to root. And I'll show you how I do that. The earlier's I'm definitely going to do on a separate video. But this branch, it's coming up, crossing over. Any branches that cross over you want to remove. Plus it's crossing over and growing into the other tree. So I'm going to remove this branch. That's all the way here. Because it's crossing over and it's going into the other tree. So this probably would... Mm, this might make a good air layer. So, okay. You know what? That one is going to make a good air layer. So I'm definitely going to air layer this one because it's going up and traveling across. It's crossing a branch and it's going into the other tree. So this will eventually start pushing into that tree. This tree, thank God, most of the big branches are going in either direction. They're still going to touch because they're close together, but you want to maintain some airflow. So I'm going to air layer this one here. So I'm not going to cut that, but otherwise that one should go. All these lower branches around here, these little skinny ones, I'm going to cut them all off. So I'm taking off all these little ones, these little skinny ones. All these little skinny things are going, going, going. All right. So going up the branch, we're moving all these little tiny ones that are off the main trunk. So I'm gonna just go through, cut off all the small branches like this. Then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the med medium sized ones. All right, guys, you can see what I've done so far. You can see it's a whole lot more open now. You don't have like a million little small branches like this all over the place. So you can see I've opened it up a lot more. So the next thing you wanna do, you wanna cut back some of these, you wanna cut back the branches to the point where you know it can support a fruit. So like if you look at this long one that I left, if you have a big one pound sugar apple on it, it's just gonna probably break this branch. So I'm gonna cut this back. Um, and at the end, we're gonna move, remove the leaves. So let's go ahead and cut back. So you wanna cut back to where the stem is pretty hardy, where you know it can support a fruit. So if it's the fruit set on here on the end, it's just gonna be like this, and then it's eventually gonna split. But if the fruit set here, closer to the, the main branch, this is very firm. It's not, it's not gonna snap. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And let's see if I can, what else I can show you. Yeah, so this one here I've already cut. You can see it's much shorter now. When you're cutting, be sure to cut above the leaf nodes. Cause if you, this is where you're gonna push out leaves or push out flowers so make sure you don't cut all the way back back here make sure you leave a, a, a couple of leaf nodes so this one this long branch I'm gonna cut where it can support fruit like right here so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here so now when the flower fruits this is very firm this can hold the fruit so this skinny one here I'm gonna go do the same thing Cut it back to like right here. Yep, firm. So I'm gonna go through and do that. And guys, you can see it's a pretty drastic pruning. You know, I'm giving it probably four inches on these little skinny ones, making sure that it can support fruit. Cause the last thing you wanna do is to have them fruit and then have your fruit fall off because the branch was too skinny and unable to support it. So go through, oops. This one's a little firm. Yep, everything here is pretty firm and can support fruit. Plus, as I said, it fruits on new growth. So you wanna get rid of the old growth, I even get rid of the leaves. I get rid of everything, guys. So here, you can see how this branch looks now. 
this is a well pruned sugar apple tree of course you don't prune all your plants this heavily you have to know what your plants like and sugar apple likes a really big cut and as you can see all these are the old leaves from the previous season all that will be gone so this long branch here see that long branch over storms back it's gonna go ahead and prune it back this one is a little bit more firm so I didn't have to go I didn't have to go all the way to the trunk this one is a bit longer because this one can support more fruit let's get this one all right all right so I'm not just automatically so the point is for the really skinny ones that can't support roots cut it back to the point where it can support for these thicker ones you can give it more length so more fruit all right so this is what we have so far guys you see the huge difference from where we started right all right so i'm going to continue trimming this branch here is actually from the piece that i want to leave that comes up it crosses over any branches that cross on any tree you have like this you, you want to remove that branch so if i remove this branch when i cut my earlier i'm going to have this tree coming up this way and branching that way and that way so i'm going to remove this branch we're going to still have a very nice tree and this is going to be a great cut in for me oops so that's going to be a nice cut in for me to root so as you guys can see you know i'm always experimenting on stuff so i'm experimenting with air layers and growing sugar apple from cutting <clears throat> so even though this is one that i'm gonna leave on i'm just trimming it up for health and you know why not i can get some i can get some sugar apples while it's the um air layer is is rooting ideally i should take the fruit off while it's rooting but we'll see we will see so i'm going through and cutting up this one that is crossing over to the other side. This is the earlier one that I'm trimming up because when I do cut it off, guys, I wanna have a nice sugar apple tree. So now you see it's coming up. It has two, well, three branches and I am cutting this all the way back. So when this earlier is done, it'll be a perfect, perfectly good tree. I'm doing the same thing that I'm doing to the rest of the plant. I'm trimming it up. Of course, after I transplant it, guys, it's going to be focusing on developing roots. So it's going to be a while before that needs to be trimmed again. All right. So continuing my trimming and I'll set my camera up and we'll be right back to show you the after. I know... For people in the islands they don't have to go through all this but here we're in a different climate i'm in central florida it does get cold and even in south florida i know i have friends who have sugar apples and they only get a handful every year so i'm praying that all this trimming is gonna encourage growth so i'm going through making sure i leave a healthy leaf node when i do my cuts And branches that can't support, I am cutting all the way back to the base. Branches that can support, I am trimming to the point where they can support. So last year, I literally got maybe five blossoms in all. And I got, I think, two or three fruits. I can't remember now. Three. I got three fruits in all because I hand pollinated each flower that I caught. Some of the flowers I caught a little bit late. But, um... If you guys missed those videos, check out my videos on how I hand pollinate my sugar apple. You don't have to do those things in the wild, guys, but or in Jamaica or in the islands, you know, but over here that, that you need to hand pollinate if you want to get a lot of fruit. All right. And guys, here you have it. Uh, trimmed up, perfectly trimmed up sugar apple tree. 
So I should be seeing some new growth soon. Um, as you can see, I've removed all the leaves and I've opened up the canopy. So there's gonna be great airflow and God willing, we'll be having lots of fruit this year. So for this tree, there's not much to do. A couple little um, tiny branches, leaf branches here that are just starting, but this one has a really good shape. So I'm not doing much with this one. There's any lower branches you see coming all the way from the base. I'm just gonna remove that. That one is coming all the way from down in the ground. I'm just gonna remove that one. And all these thicker branches that I cut, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get these rooted. <clears throat> get this, get rid of these little small ones that can't support fruit. All these small ones that can't support fruit, I'm getting, cutting them back, cutting them back. All right. And then for the rest guys, I'm just gonna cut all these leaves off. So I'm just gonna cut these back a bit to encourage new growth. Lots of cuttings on this one. Oops. Try and make the cuts as clean as possible and at an angle wherever possible. And there you have it guys, ready for my sugar apple season. So I'm gonna just leave the leaves um, there to decompose and feed the soil. Um, you can see guys, the soil looks pretty rich around it. Um, Storm is digging it up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cover that back up. You wanna protect the roots, but I'm gonna just leave the leaves here. The le leaves look ready guys, but that's because of the cold. Um, the end of the season, everything, the cold burned, burned up the leaves, but the leaves are full of nutrition. The leaves will break down and feed the soil. So I'm going to leave the leaves here. But guys, we're going to go root some of these cuttings. I'm going to show you how I'm going to root these cuttings. And on, a, on another video, we'll do um, the air layers. So let's get started on that. And by the air layers, I mean the big one that I have there. And I'm probably going to air layer one of those two lower limbs probably the lowest limb all right so let me show you what i do to root it it's really easy first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm just gonna do like one or two just to show you but the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove these leaves and cut the branches into maybe like eight inch pieces guys you have to start with very healthy branches you can see these are very healthy um, branches if you scratch it you can see it's green you can see that so this is, these are very healthy branches. Make sure you're not starting with like dead branches that, you know, didn't have any life. These branches have a lot of life in it. So I'm going to try different size cuttings, different thickness. I'm going to try some thinner ones, some thicker ones. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to remove the leaves and cut, cut it into pieces. All right, guys. So my phone died um, in the middle of me doing this. So I have already done several there what i did was i re re removed the leaves from everything i used some tips you can see these skinny ones are the tips of the branch and then i also use some of the lower woody part of the branch so i have several here so let's do a couple so you can see exactly what i did so that you can do this if you're working with these cuttings what you can do is um you can just rest them in water if you let's say if, if you don't have time to do it all right so guys look here see any damage um, branches like this one you want to cut the damage off so I'm gonna cut this damage off right here I'm cutting this damage off here then what you want to do with the part that you're gonna stick in the ground you just want to injure it injure some of these leaf nodes Injure the cambium layer a little bit, not much. Just injure it like that. And then you're going to use a rooting hormone. You can use, you can purchase rooting hormone. I like to use my aloe vera as my rooting hormone. I'm just rubbing it in well like this. Then I'm going to stick it into the soil. 
all right so you can see all my pieces um, have the branches removed the pieces are maybe I would say 8 to 10 inches long and here again I'm gonna injure the lower leaf nodes and guys some of these are gonna catch some won't catch you know that's why I'm doing a whole lot of them so I can get a few of them stick that in the soil and then here my final one this one is a little bit thicker so you can see I've done different thicknesses I've done some very thin ones I've done some tips I've done some bottoms this one actually has a branch this will grow into a nice tree it already has that Y shape so I'm gonna do the same Enjoy the cambium layer and this is going to encourage roots to grow. Add my rooting hormone, which is my aloe vera, and stick this in the soil. And I have one last one. This is a tip. This is a tip one. This is the top of the plant. And we're going to go plant it. This one I didn't injure, so let's do a little injury all right so now I'm gonna be sure that I'm gonna label this so I, I know that these are my sweet sop cuttings and I'm gonna label it today is this January 19th 2024 I'm gonna label it and we'll check back on this you can see I've oh this, I left some leaves on here because I wanted to show you. So guys, look at this. So guys, as I was cutting the leaves off, so this one, I think I put, oh, here we go. As I was removing the leaves, guys, I saw several of the leaves had this white underneath it. Guys, this is white fly. Um, sometimes on your plants, you notice that your leaves start to turn black, like it has a black sooty um, thing on it. It's usually insect damage, so guys, here is a white fly. This can really affect your plant. So I'm t removing all the leaves. I just wanted to show you real quick what white fly looks like. I actually have white fly on several of my plants. Um, I really do need to go in and spray with um, some neem oil to kill the white fly. If it's not a bad infestation, sometimes I just use water and wash it off. So here's another good branch to show you what white fly looks like, guys. See that whiteness underneath it? This is actually an insect white fly. Okay, it's a sucking insect that can really suck up the leaves and cause lots of damage on your plant. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna stick this in, a, you know, stick this somewhere that's not in direct sunlight because you wanna kind of protect it while they grow. If it's, if we have a small enough container that you can, you can actually put a plastic bag or something to create like a humidity dome that is absolutely best i made us get a, a large garbage bag to cover it not sure yet maybe like a white plastic bag to, um, to cover it we'll see if i can do that otherwise just stick it under a tree keep the area misted and moist so that way that can encourage your root growth let me show you real quick my star fruit um, cuttings that i did when my star fruit split these are my star fruit cuttings. Um, I had stuck a couple pieces in, in this pot. What I just did was I just went and pulled off the leaves. And guys, look at this. This is one week later after my star fruit um, plant broke in two. And guys, all the cuttings that I put in here still had all the leaves on it. But what I did was I just went in, even though it's a week later, I just went in, um, cut them smaller and took the, did the same exact thing injured the, the root stuck it in here and so that it can grow all right guys that is it for today's video as a matter of fact here's another um one i did yesterday with some red coat plum sticks this is not the one that i did on the previous video this is another red coat um cutting that i did yesterday so guys you can do this with your woody plants you know some of the cuttings we catch some won't some plants are root very easily this is actually my first time doing star fruit and 
sugar apples but i know that they will root my red coat plum should should root at least i've done it in the past all my plums plums that i have in my garden are from cuttings so i know it works anyway guys hope you enjoy this video oh speaking of cuttings at work my start my passion fruit guys all of these passion fruit that i've been eating um from this vine this started off as a cutting so cuttings work guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this encouraged you to I hope you learned something today and I hope this encouraged you to go on out there, try and trim your tree guys. Um, as I mentioned, I'm not an expert. I'm learning these things as I go along and I'm very, very happy guys to have you with me, learning with me and growing with me. Till next time guys, let's go plant a seed or plant a tree out there today. Let's grow our own food. Let's eat our own healthy organic food and let's always remember to share with others. Till next time, bye now.